Hello and welcome to ATM World News. I'm Leah, and it's great to be with you, the listeners around the world. Well, today we're doing a special on Denny Corral, um, famous CCM artist uh, that we feel uh, left this world uh, far too soon. He's a very soulful, passionate singer, uh, very well noted. Today uh, we have with us his brother, Tim Corral. Hi, Tim. Hi, good afternoon, Leah. God bless you, and um, thank you for having me on tonight. Oh, it's just awesome having you. Uh, Tim's a great singer in his own right, and he's got some CDs uh, coming out. We're doing a special with him uh, and his wife after this show that you may want to catch. Uh, Danny Corral, uh, a little backdrop. Uh, he um, he started out first uh, with a uh, blues band uh, and a uh, thing called Blue uh, Image. And he had a great hit uh, called uh, Ride, Captain, Ride Upon Your Mystery Ship. It's probably about discovering America, and uh, which is <laughs> pretty awesome. And, uh, but, you know, something happened along the way. Uh, Denny became born again, and he decided to do Christian music then. And uh, made a big splash in the CCM circles. He did do a stint with Love Song. I'd like our audience to see, I mean, really get a feel for how talented Denny was and the beautiful uh, way he reached people with, I mean, he made the gospel exciting and alive and he has a good testimony because the man went through a lot. He suffered in life uh, with, with physical difficulties and everything. But right now uh, here, go ahead and watch this wonderful video of him singing living water. This is a true story. It's about my grandpa. say was that an awesome video or what tim uh, go ahead and clue in our audience a little bit more about living water that song how it came to be it's a true song 
Well, that song actually was about our grandpa, uh, Emerson Carell uh, from Indiana. And um, our grandpa was a farmer and in Indiana. And, um, you know, kind of the twilight or, or later in his life, not the twilight, but later in his life, um, as the story goes, uh, as told by our mother, um, our grandpa Emerson got born again, got filled with the Holy Spirit and um the Lord put a call on his life at that point in time, and um, he started holding Bible studies um, at his farm, and he would come out on the porch, and some of the folks uh, in the area, the word got out, some of the Christian folks uh, would attend his Bible study, and they'd pull up in their carts or whatever transportation they had at the time, and um, uh, the Lord actually grew that Bible study into uh, Grandpa Emerson having church services there from his uh, porch. And I wish we had photos of that, but we just don't. They had, they didn't survive through the generations. But um, anyway, quite a story. And um, that song, Living Water, uh, Denny and I, uh, uh, we wrote, co-wrote many songs. The Lord gave us many songs together. And that's one of them um, that uh, uh, this spawned the idea. And um, uh, voila, there was Living Water and uh, uh, just a, a great memory and a memorial to um, uh, our grandpa Emerson. Uh, that's pretty awesome. I know you were telling me behind the scenes once, well, a funky little town of Indiana, uh, this might be the one thing we have to change. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, you change it to New Orleans. That was kind of funny. Well, um, you know, uh, Tim has told me that he was extremely uh, close to his brother. And they had a good camaraderie, and uh, that it really helped in both their musical lives. You want to tell us a little bit about that, Tim? Well, you know, Denny and I, um, as you say, had this closeness that was just amazing. We uh, we had uh, uh, we could finish each other's sentences, if you would, as uh, we we would even talk to each other and discuss things. Um, even though at times he was away traveling with various groups and bands, um, secular bands uh, at, at the time. Um, we would call, he would call me rather on the phone, uh, long distance, and um, we would talk for hours and hours and hours and discuss maybe song ideas that um, we'd be getting. Uh, sometimes we'd write songs over the telephone uh, just because we couldn't be together physically. And um, uh, we, we had we had good success together and uh, just loved uh, being in each other's company, hanging out with each other. Uh, we love the same music, so that was quite a help um, to us being together all the time. So uh, that's pretty much it, Leah. We um, uh, just love each other as brothers, and uh, we both love Jesus more than anything in our lives. And um, uh, that's that's pretty much uh, uh, how our relationship grew over the years. Now, what changed um, Denny uh, into turning into Christian music was his born again experience. And uh, I remember you telling me that someone read him scripture out of the Bible, and he said, wow, the Bible says that? And uh, he was really intrigued and uh, changed, decided to change his life. And he said he wanted to do things that would make, you know, God happy. And uh, it seems as though the enemy attacked him because of his choice, because the enemy uh, said, well, I lost somebody, you know. And it just went to try and attack him. Now, he went through so many surgeries with his back. I think you even said there was something like a scaffold put in. You want tell me, tell me a little bit about his health. Well, Denny uh, had actually, it began with a lung problem that he had. And um, yeah, I think they call it a cystitial fibrosis is what set in in his lungs, uh, which inevitably um, did affect his, his, you know, his frame, if you will. His, um, his back, um, uh, his vertebra, so on and so forth. So um, he had to uh, go ahead. The doctors uh, thought that the best way he could, he could find relief would be to actually have a surgery done. And um, he went ahead with that surgery and had it done. He did get some relief, but, um, you know, he was never really the same from that point on uh, physically. Uh, he still battled, even though it was a lot better after the surgery, um, it still was kind of uh, uh, there all the time, and um, he just kind of suffered through it and um, kept a stiff upper lip, if you will. Uh, yes, and uh, didn't you mention he had back surgery? 
he did have back surgery yeah. and um, it uh, it was successful as it, you know it was as good as it, it as they could get it as far as with his back and um, uh, it, w- it wasn't a complete success or, or he would have he would have received you know complete uh, you know results on that as far as feeling better but I'd say that uh, if, if you had to get a percentage I guess he was about 60 70 percent better um, uh, after the surgery than he was going in so in that regard, uh, it was a success, truly. Well, he had a successful uh, singing ministry uh, for Christ. He reaped his harvest, and the devil lost, and he won. Uh, exactly. Denny just Denny just persevered through the pain uh, to reap his harvest, and he gained <laughs> and did what God called him to do on earth. And God will give you the strength to do that. Uh, Tim's a living witness. Uh, he's been through cancer twice. Uh, right. this, this man before you is amazing uh, that you're seeing here. He keeps a positive attitude. He witnesses to others in the hospital while he's getting treated for cancer. Both you and your brother mm-hmm. persevered to reap your harvest. Mm-hmm. And he's got a, a couple of exciting CDs out now, planning a new one with his wife. You truly do need to go to YouTube and put in Tim Corral and some of his uh, music will come up. You can buy his CDs on iTunes and you'll see he sounds a lot like his brother. You know, they're passionate. Uh, they they persevere through pain, all kinds of health issues. This is an amazing testimony. I just wanted to do a brief uh, pop video here to make the public a little aware of some uh, good talent and some good testimony. Uh, Tim, is there anything else you'd like to add to the program today? Well, I think that uh, you pretty much covered it in a short period of time. Um, uh, The music uh, that the Lord has given me, song ideas over the years, um, when Denny was full-time in ministry, um, you know, he, we would talk during the day. Um, I had my day job and commercial lending at the time to pay my bills and uh, make a living and uh, was, was still singing at church on Sunday and uh, going out and sharing the music that God had given me um, uh, around, uh, you know, the greater Phoenix area. But um, Denny um, and I, uh, over the years, um, the Lord would give me a hook. We call it a hook, which would be the hook of a song. Um, uh, say, say the song is living water. The Lord would sometimes give me that, that idea, that song idea, um, to, and sometimes give me a melody, sometimes not, but I would, um, communicate that to Denny and collaborate that. And, um, uh, the Lord would always then stimulate the both of us to go further in that song idea. And, uh, some took a little longer than others, but, um, uh, the Lord brought them all to completion and, um, just a miracle and a blessing. Um, some of the songs that I went out on my first CD um, and and recorded uh, were some of the early songs that the Lord gave me, and Denny helped me finish some of those songs. Um, the story goes, actually, um, years after Denny had passed, um, I was continuing in the church and, and you know, on praise team on Sunday morning and uh, just worshiping the Lord uh, with others at our church. And um, one Saturday night, I received a phone call from Skip Conti, and uh, Skip um, was in the Blues Image with Denny. Uh, he co-wrote Ride, Captain Ride, their big number one record. And uh, Skip produced uh, Denny's first couple of three albums, uh, I believe it was. And um, we worked together at a studio that Skip was the head of in Orange County, California, called IAM. And um, Skip then went on to, where after Blues Image disbanded, he went on to join the uh, uh, Three Dog Night. A lot of you might know Three Dog Night from their many hits and success in pop music. Um, but anyway, Skip um, uh, and I worked together many, many years on background vocals with Denny um, and so on and so forth. Well, I received a call one Saturday night late and um, kind of alarming at first, uh, you know, because I have still family in Southern California, even though I live in the greater Phoenix area and have for some time. Um, anyway, it was Skip. And he said, hi, Tim. And I said, oh, my gosh, Skip, why are you calling me so late on a Saturday night? And he said, because I'm trying to get some sleep. I said, what do you mean you're trying to get some sleep? He goes, well, he goes, you know, the Holy Spirit has been waking me up in the middle of the night, Tim. And I said, well, that's great. Praise the Lord. That's 
hey, anytime the Holy Spirit either speaks to you during the daytime or at nighttime, that's a good time and the right time. Amen. So um, he told me that the reason was uh, uh, was that uh, the Lord was telling him to produce uh, my first CD to enable me to go out and share my heart and share my experiences as a born again believer. And um, I was just floored by that phone call. And um, I said, well, you know what? I'm just honored that you would call me, Skip. I said, I, I really, at this point in time, I don't know if I can financially handle that and don't know what that would be yet. And uh, he said, look, I'm not calling you for money. I'm calling to tell you that um, I need to uh, just make make this uh, offer, uh, make you aware of this offer rather. And uh, that's what he did. And the rest is history. We went in the studio shortly thereafter and uh, started working together with Willie Harlan as well. Skip uh, Conte and Willie Harlan are uh, just a wonderful du duo, if you will. Uh, Skip's the producer. Skip uh, is... Uh, just an amazing producer, has, has worked with many, many uh, Christian artists, so on and so forth, through the earth. And Willie Harlan, um, an amazing engineer and a co-producer in his own right. Uh, that's some great info, people. And uh, the music is really good. I mean, you can tell it was uh, done by an expert recording studio. And, of course, uh, Tim's great voice uh, and the studio, it's, uh, it's really good. You can look it up, like I said, again, on YouTube and, and buy it on iTunes. You know, I'm sorry that Denny passed, what was it, around 52? Uh, he, he was young, but he accomplished an incredible amount of, um, wow, things for the kingdom of God while he was here. So what I'd like to say to you, the listener, is you may be going through a sheer hell on earth. Uh, you may be suffering pain like many of us are, but we don't always talk about it. But you can still reap your harvest. God's got a way for you to do that. Tim and Denny are truly proof of that. So, Denny, I mean, uh, Denny, wow, Denny in heaven. Yeah, hey. Amen, <laughs> if, amen. If you can hear us in heaven, I meant to say Tim, but Denny, if you can hear us in heaven, I know you're rejoicing. Amen. Uh, you know, uh, and uh, what a testimony you left. And, Tim, I want to thank you so much for taking the time to be with us in this short little Denny special. And as, oh, as you call him, Den. You know, Den, Den that's special. right. Thank you that's so right. much. Thank you, Leah. It's such a blessing and an honor to uh, join you today. God and bless. You too. Lord bless all the listeners. God bless.